I think I found the almost perfect controller for mobile devices, and there are truly very few things holding it back. I've tested out some really cool ones, but this one really takes the cake. With that said, introducing the Powerray Moga XP7X controller. This one is probably the best one in the market, and here's why. Let's dive right in. The exterior design consists of plastic for the entirety of the build, but this is a very hefty controller. It's got a lot packed into it, so not only is it pretty large to accommodate just about everything, but also it's got the weight to back it up. On the front, you're going to find all of your usual buttons with the Xbox layout. There's also an additional battery life indicator button so that you know how much battery life you've got left. These buttons feel pretty fantastic, but the thumbsticks are really the ones that truly feel fantastic. They are very solid, they bounce back into place very well, and the top texture is very grippy. I really like what they did with the buttons here. On the top, you're going to find your shoulder buttons, which, I mean, they don't feel the best. There is quite a bit of friction and resistance on the triggers that makes these feel somewhat awkward to press. Then you're going to find a power bank switch to turn it on and off. This controller can charge your phone directly too. So that's why you get this switch to begin with. And then there's that micro USB port on the top. This should definitely have been USB-C and there is no real excuse for this being micro USB. On the bottom, you're going to find USB and Bluetooth toggle to switch the functionality for, for this controller. And finally, you're going to find the program button. On the back, there are two remappable buttons too, so you've got a lot to mess around with here. Beyond that, there's just a built-in stand that you can off of this controller and use this controller wirelessly with your phone. By the way, you can use this controller on your Windows PC if you want to, which is actually pretty cool. Well, that way you can just buy one controller and use it for both your phone pretty well and then be able to use it with your computer. So as you can see, there's just a lot packed into this controller, but now we're going to set things up. So right off the bat, this is one thing that really makes the experience for me. With previous devices, I have had to make some kind of adjustment to my phone in order to get it to work with previous controllers. But this one just stretches all the way across and fits my Google Pixel 6 Pro with the leather case on perfectly. I with this because this already makes it the best controller for my phone. So just connect these over Bluetooth and Android will take care of the rest. It really is that, that simple. Now we're going to be talking about how this controller feels where there is a phone actually connected to it and also what it feels like in tabletop mode as I'm going to call it. So finally hooking my phone up to the controller makes the footprint absolutely massive. But this is easily the most comfortable mobile setup that I have ever tested. Ever. It really feels like playing with an Xbox controller. I tried this out with Final Fantasy 15 over the cloud and man was it good. Now the grips do a lot in terms of the comfort here but I do wish that they had just a little more grittiness like the ones that you would find an Xbox controller but besides that they were great. The face buttons and the analog sticks also felt very responsive, especially the sticks. The stick heads will work just about for anyone, I would say. And no matter how sweaty your fingertips get, I'm pretty sure you're going to be just fine. I never find myself having like any kind of finger slipping off or anything like that. They nailed this. The buttons themselves are really good too. They're large and have similar feedback to the ones on the next box controller, but they're slightly stickier, but just slightly. Like they have just a little bit more resistance, but it's hard to notice for the most part in the game like this. This whole experience just felt natural. I never really expected this to be as comfortable as it is, but they absolutely nailed it. Power A did a really good job with this controller, but the triggers, in my opinion, are not very good. And especially not very good for something like an FPS, because they are so squishy. This is something that could definitely use some improvements with their next iteration, because even with games that don't depend much on the triggers, I find that I just don't like how they feel. And I would think that most people might agree with me here overall. But this is still a really, really good controller for this specific kind of use. I really enjoyed it. So for tabletop mode, this device has a stand and it's actually a pretty decent one. Just prop up your phone and you're good to go. But I had some issues playing like this because the weight of this controller felt very uneven. There is just this huge gap in the middle at this point that makes it so that it just feels flimsy around the center 
this is especially notable because of how big this controller is. Otherwise, it's not the size of a regular Xbox controller, but much longer. So gaming like this is just awkward. For the next iteration, honestly, I would just remove the stand idea entirely and make it so that when this controller doesn't have a phone on it, that it can just shrink into something closer to a traditional controller. I think it would really do it wonders, as I do like the idea of it being used as a regular controller too, but that implementation needs a lot of work right now. So I would almost exclusively only use this with my phone while having it just, well, having my phone in between the controllers. So when it comes to battery life, this has a 2000 milliamp hour battery. The reason why I say this and not the exact amount of hours is because I haven't been able to kill it yet, so I don't really know. This lasts quite a while, and I don't think that you will have to charge it all that often, from my experience at least. In conclusion, this is the controller to get for mobile and cloud gaming on your phone. This is easily the most comfortable, the one with the best buttons and thumbsticks, and it can fit so many phones of so many sizes, even with thinner cases. I quite literally have not come across anything like it so far. What I would change about this is really just to remove the kickstand in favor of a more traditional layout and let's add USB-C on top and let's add better feedback on the triggers as well. But otherwise, you get a very strong recommendation from me. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. I do very much appreciate it. Uh, I'm not sweating as much today because today it's actually only 85 degrees. So it's mostly just humid, not as hot, uh, but I am still sweating. Don't get me wrong. And please make sure to check out my affiliate link uh, to this product down in the description. Again, I really recommend it if this is what you want it for because it's a really good product. And if you use my link, you would be so supporting the channel directly, so I would really appreciate that. Also, I would love to thank all of the patrons, beginning with the Tier 3s. Omar, thank you so much for all of your support, because it really does go a very long way. And for everybody else, the Tier 2s and the Tier 3s, you guys rock as well. Thank you so much. Now, please remember that the Patreon will be shutting down in just a few days, uh, so please enjoy the perks while they last. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for everything. Also, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitch, where I do stream every now and then. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy.